Hey, what's up guys? Coach Leanne here from AM Fitness. Today we're talking about modifications for your push-ups. So I'm gonna take you through a couple different options that you have. So if this is you know your first time doing a push-up or if you've struggled with push-ups for a long time, these are some things that you can do to help build up your strength so you can eventually get yourself into a full push-up. So stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so we're talking about our push-ups today. So the first thing that we need to make sure that we have before we do any sort of push-up is our plank position. So if you haven't yet, check out the video that I did on planks. So just a quick review, we're corkscrewing the elbows in, we're making sure our hips are tucked, head is nice and neutral, eyes are right on top of our fingertips. So your, your basic push-up looks like this. Elbows stay in, you come down, nose pretty close to the ground, push yourself back up without letting your hips dip into the ground or without leaving your butt up in the air. So for some people, a full push-up is very challenging and that's okay. Whether this is the first time you've done it or it's been a while and you know, you've been working at it or whatever, the biggest thing to remember is that a full push-up requires full range of movement. So if you're here and you've been spending a lot of time working on your push-ups in this position, you're only gonna get strong in the range of motion that you use. So if you're only moving about one or two inches, that's the only place that you're gonna build strength. So you're never actually gonna be able to get yourself all the way down until you work within that range of motion. So the first thing that you can do to make it even easier is to simply drop it onto your knees. So when you're on your knees, your toes stay in the ground. Same thing, drop it down, keep the elbows in, eyes on the ground, then bring yourself right back up. So from there, if that's still a little bit too much, you have a couple different options. So we can work on the eccentric form of our push-up. So the eccentric is working on the, the downward motion essentially. So we can take a solid three to five seconds, take your time, slow and controlled, bring yourself all the way down, then drop to the ground. So here, you don't have to worry about actually doing the push-up to get yourself back up. You push your hips back into your heels, then you reset. Same thing, slow and controlled, take three seconds as long as you can. When you can't control anymore, drop, push back, then reset. So the reason that we push back is so that when we come up, we're not rounding out in our back and then trying to get ourselves back up, okay? Make sure those butt cheeks are tight and you're still keeping your hips in line. If that's still a little bit too much for you, we can bring it onto the wall. That's another option that you have and I'll show you that in a second. If we get to the point where we've kind of mastered the range of motion a little bit more, we've got the eccentric down, we've got it on our knees, but we still can't quite get it up onto the toes. The next thing that we can do to make it a little bit easier, start on your toes, bring yourself down, drop it onto the knees, then push yourself right back up, then pop it back up onto the toes. So that way you're still working in your full range of motion at your hardest level, and you're still working as hard as you possibly can. So stick around and let me show you the version on the wall. All right guys, this is the wall version of your push-up. So this is hands down your easiest version because you can really control how much resistance you're working against. So hands are gonna go against the wall. You still wanna keep them at shoulder width. Good plank position. We wanna make sure we're up on the balls of the feet. So heels are never touching. So heels down versus heels up. Make sure heels are up, balls of the feet. We're corkscrewing the elbows in so the shoulders are locked. Make sure tummy's tight, butt cheeks are tight. Tuck those hips in. We're gonna come forward, head comes toward the wall. Then you're gonna push yourself back away. Full range of motion. So we're coming all the way down, coming all the way back up. Still controlling placement of the elbows. So we wanna be 30, 45 degrees or so off the body. We never wanna come up. Way too much pressure in the neck. We just wanna relax, keep everything in. Corkscrew, stay in that nice, tight position. We also wanna make sure that we're not leaving our butt up in the air. So even though we're against the wall, sometimes we still have a tendency to kind of just lean our head in and keep it as easy as possible. We still wanna find a little bit of a challenge here, so make sure you're still in your plank. So we're still working on a push-up, full range, all the way down, push yourself back up. So if we wanna make it harder, just increase the decline. Just walk yourself a little bit further back. So now you have more to work on. So as you start to get comfortable with this, as the wall push-up is good, you're, you know, you're walking your feet back a pretty decent amount, at a certain point, it's time to take it back onto the ground. So from there, if you've mastered that, then you can bring it into your eccentric on the knees. You can work on the eccentric on your toes. Once you've got the eccentric down, you can then bring it onto your knees. Once you've got that all set up, do it on your toes, regress down onto your knees to pop yourself back up, then right back on your toes. So work kind of within your range of motion. If one's a little bit too easy for you, if you don't need the wall, but the eccentric's enough for you, work with that. You have all kinds of different options. So whatever it is that you need best to increase your range of motion in your push-ups, work with that. So start there. Like I said, increase your range of motion first. The strength is going to follow. So once you're strong in the range of motion, then the rest strength is going to follow through the rest of your push-up. All right. So try any of these out, see how they work for you. And I'd love to see how much your push-ups increase. <laughs> 